the ingredients I need to paint. First, take your pencil, your wood, your design, your carbon paper, and your paint. Tape. First, take your carbon paper and your design. Put the design on top of the carbon paper and make sure the top, the top is the light side. Now, take your tape and tape your design and your carbon paper onto your wood. Then, trace it. Now that I have my pattern printed on my wood, I can paint. I have already paint. I have already poured my paints, but when you pour your paints, put your put them from dark to light. When you start to paint, I put it in order like this, but you don't need to. Dip your paintbrush into the water and dry it up. You don't want it too dry, otherwise the paints will not blend. And do this regularly. Put your paintbrush in the darkest color. Then start wherever you want. Top, bottom, or the sides. I'm going to start on the top. Don't get a lot of paint, otherwise you'll be wasting paint when you go to the next color. And you kind of want it gloppy, not a lot. Then I go to the next color, and when you go to the next color, you want to uh, paint just past the other one, and then paint back. And remember to always paint towards you so that you don't ruin your paintbrush. Then I do the same with the next color. Now I am done with the first petal. I have finished my flower. As you can see, I did it different ways. Um, when you're done with your paint and you want to use it again, take a plastic bag and put the paints in. And to put, preserve the paint brush, brushes, or yeah, brushes, put it in there too, and try to get as much air out as you can. 